There is so much buzz surrounding electric vehicles right now, and they are fantastic, but they're not a viable solution for every Canadian driver. So if you've been looking to get into a vehicle that is much more efficient, but aren't yet ready to make that big step into the EV lifestyle, there are so many excellent hybrid and plug-in hybrid options for you. Here are five that recently caught my attention. First of all, the new Toyota Prius looks fantastic. I will be the first to admit that it used to look really dorky, but it looks really cool now and I think that'll do a lot of work to get more people into this efficient sedan. It actually looks kind of cool now and it's more powerful than it used to be, but that's not even the best part. Its efficiency is really the showstopper here. I just drove it on a long trip from Toronto to Michigan, which was mostly highway, and I managed to get just 5 liters per 100 kilometers without even trying. And the Prius is now available with all-wheel drive. It adds an electric motor to the rear axle and only sends power back there when slippage is detected or when you need a stronger launch, enabling all-wheel drive without impacting fuel economy. There's also the Toyota Prius Prime, which is a plug-in hybrid that is even more efficient and can drive 72 kilometers on battery power alone. Typically, SUVs can either be powerful or efficient and not really both, but the BMW X5 plug-in hybrid really impressed me by how well it was able to balance both of those things. And I did something really bad when I drove it and I didn't even plug it in, but I still managed to get just 8.7 liters per 100 kilometers. If you were a better person than me and plugged it in, you could drive 64 kilometers on electricity alone and get even better efficiency. This SUV is smooth, powerful, luxurious, and efficient. The regular Toyota Corolla Cross manages to be really underwhelming and kind of slow, but surprisingly, the hybrid one addresses all of those and it's more efficient, so it ends up being my favorite one of that entire lineup. A big bonus is that it has all-wheel drive and it's still rated at just 5.6 liters per 100 kilometers. It's roomy and practical and easy to drive, and it shares a platform with that Prius that I mentioned earlier. That electric motor on the rear axle adds extra output it needs so you can comfortably pass someone. And it happens to be the only hybrid in its class. If you're into sedans and wagons instead, Volvo has a couple options for you too. The S60 and the V60 Recharge are plug-in hybrids that share the same platform but are packaged in two different body styles. These plug-in hybrids are not only efficient, but they're also sleepers because they drive beautifully and are also very quick. When the battery is full, you can drive them 64 kilometers on EV power alone, and otherwise, they're still rated at just 7.6 liters per 100 kilometers. They're luxurious and handsomely styled. The Ford F-150 Hybrid is rated to burn just 10.1 liters per 100 kilometers, which is crazy good for a half-ton truck. It offers everything you love about the gas-powered F-150 except with more efficiency. And when it's properly equipped, it can tow over 12,000 pounds. And my favorite feature is the Pro Power Onboard, which offers a massive 7.2 kilowatts of power that turns the truck into a mobile generator to power your tools or campsite. Dan even used it to make popcorn one time. And if you needed something smaller, I also love the Ford Maverick Hybrid, but it doesn't come with all-wheel drive, so that's why I didn't make the cut for this list. I hope Ford is listening because making this hybrid pickup truck all-wheel drive would probably make it a lot more popular with Canadian drivers.